Okay. All right. So take two of scenario two. one of Gloomhaven. Yes. With new and exciting technology on Mark's side. Yeah, I have two cameras now. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> so fancy. So it means we can do stuff like I can zoom in and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fancy. And then spend five minutes getting <laughs> Yeah, getting it all back back to the way it was. <laughs> um do we need to intro ourselves again? Um, for anybody who missed the last time, I'm Melissa and I'm playing a quatrial tinkerer named Tilo. And I am Mark. I'm playing this a uh, human scoundrel named Foxy. And we completely died last time <laughs> in the very first scenario. So we're doing it again. Yeah, trying again to not die, hopefully. Well, not get game. exhausted because that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm actually drinking this time. Mark's drinking. I'm not because it's before noon where I am. <laughs> So I'm drinking coffee. Coffee. How is it not mixed? I have a I made a fruit smoothie and I'm I mixed it with a fruit oh, smoothie. Nice. It's quite delicious actually. It, that sounds delicious. And water. Bubbly water. It doesn't have enough though. I need to put in some more. So just to make things harder, because it wasn't hard enough when we were just drinking tea and coffee before. Why don't I have my massive mug today? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need to stir this better. <laughs> it was all floating at the top. I was going to say, if that little bit of swirling mixed it, then you did not make your smoothie correctly. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, Melissa and I have both um, decided to go with some advanced skills. Mm -hmm. The cards have an X at the top. Um, replacing some of the skills that were in our decks. Mine. So I'm to do that. Um, so hopefully our, our, where we are more prepared. Hopefully. And we have to choose... So we're sticking with the last last uh, episode. We picked secret quests for the characters. Mm -hmm. So those are staying the same. But because we're starting scenario over again, we have to uh, pick new scenario quests. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess should I do? Should we do it like last time? I'll just pick. I'll draw um, two, pick one, show the camera, and then draw two for you and show them to you. Yeah, I think that works so okay. that we're very sure we don't have the same one. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not looking, right? I am not looking. I'm picking this one. And then I am not looking. Uh, which camera do you want it on? Um, either way. Okay, I figured them out. Hold on. I have to read them now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I know which one I'm doing, so don't look. This is the one I'm doing, which if you tuned in last time, you know this shouldn't be too hard for me. It's there not you like, you must die in this scenario. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it's definitely something that happened last scenario, so, or darn close. Mine is also something that happened last scenario. Oh. So hopefully, we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, we don't just get exhausted and have to take a nap again. Yeah. All right. Okay, so another new thing is... 
I downloaded a couple of apps that will help us run the game. Um, so last time I was drawing cards, uh, attack cards and stuff like that for the monsters or for the bandits, I guess, in this case, and also um, keeping track of health and all that stuff with these little tokens. Um, you don't have to do that anymore. You can do that on your end, but I now have an app. Yeah, I looked at the app and it, the one that you're using, I think, costs money on um, iOS. So yeah. that makes me sad. Hold on, I have like a creaky, spooky door going on. I'm gonna go fix that really quick because that's obnoxious. Okay. Okay, hopefully that will stop the spooky. Nope, it's still good, just gonna be spooky. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Adding to the um, ambiance. Now it's worse, actually. It's just sound effects for uh, the. Sweet. The... Which one is that again? There you go. This is called Gloomhaven Helper. And okay, I set it up so that. It has our characters and then it has the bandits, the three bandits, which you can kind of see uh, in that little dinky little row there. There's a elite and two regular dudes. Oh, cool. Um, and then um, once we pick our cards, I'm going to hit this button that says draw and it'll mm -hmm. draw cards for those guys. And then um, rearrange our rows in initiative order cool um okay so we have to draw cards I am ready. I know people who use, there's like actual things you can get to for like D&D &D ambiance music. There's, it's like an actual genre of music, which I don't think we're quite ready for, but <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can, uh, just go to YouTube or something and ask for like a fantasy channel or something. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy. I have another computer right here. Um, okay, so I've chosen my two cards. As have I. So okay. my number is a 20. Mine's a nine. Man, you are so quick. I'm a sneaky guy. Speedy. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit draw and All right, um, first I'm gonna say what we are. Tinker, what was your number? 20. 20, scoundrel, nine. Oops. Okay, they drew a um, initiative 50. Okay, so they're last. Yep. And their movement is three and their attack is two. Total? Wait. Oh, I see. You're talking about this part of it, not like plus three and plus two? Okay. Please. Yeah. So the app That's automatically it adds it all together and just tells you the total. Okay. So the regular guys are move three and mm -hmm. attack two, and the elite is move two and attack three. Got it. 
And I kind of wish I had a bigger Android device. Oh, that's better. Okay. Okay, but I'm going first. Um, I am doing my trusty throwing knives, which um, I attack two people within range three. One, two, three, one, two, three. These two guys, and the elite, and this guy on the left. Okay. Um, each of the each of them is an attack two. Aw. so for the elite, I got a minus one, so I do one damage. And they have a shield, so they do. You do zero. So I do damage. zero. Boo. And then for the other guy. Oh, plus two. So oh, sweet. Four damage. To the to the small guy. And that's this guy. I'm still using my chips and everything because I don't have a fancy app. I was fancy last week with my iPad usage, which I'm still doing. Okay. So I think that worked. So I'm trying to decide whether I should try to stun this elite guy or if I should try to kill that last, that guy, the guy that you just hit. And also... Oh wait, I have to do my second thing. Oh right, yeah. Um, which is just this. This is one of my special cards. So the next time you suffer damage this round, you don't suffer any damage. Okay, that's cool. I figured that would be good on the very first turn. Um. Okay, I'm going to All right, so I'm going to use this bottom one. I'm not going to use it for the heal because we don't need a heal yet. I'm going to just use it as um, as walking as movement. So I'm going to move up next to you. Okay. I've got stuff in the wrong spots. And then I'm going to do this stun shot which is attack one and stun to the elite um, okay. within range three. So I got a plus one. So I do one damage because of the shield to the elite guy and I stun him. So he now is not gonna do anything bad to us this turn. Okay. Done and done. You did how much to him? One damage? Two damage? Uh, it would have been two, but he has a shield, so one damage. Gotcha. I'm a little sad that the shields don't get broken. Maybe if I had a shield, I would feel differently about that, but I feel like your shield, I don't know. Traditionally, your shield dies. Okay, so it's their turn. Mm -hmm. The elite would go, but instead they become unstunned. Then this guy goes and he can move three and attack for two. So he moves up and tries to hit me. Mm -hmm. um, and draws a negative one. So he hits me for one. But next time you suffer damage this round, suffer no damage instead. So I get no damage. Perfect. Um, and then I believe this will get discarded at the end of the round. Um, and then this guy moves three also. Who do you think he goes for? So this has to do with who he would focus on. So yeah. it's the one of us that's closest for we're his closest thing. In, I think. And we're evenly distributed. So it, it could go either way. So we can make the decision because we're both three from him. Yeah. Oh, there isn't a rule about like goes with goes against the one with lower initiative or anything like that. Oh yeah, it uh, it goes in. It does. It there is an initiative component. Um, 
I bookmarked it because I was concerned about it. Um, if more than one enemy ties for being the closest, the second priority is to focus on the enemy who is earlier in the initiative order. Okay, so, he's after me. Yeah, so he's after you. Okay, so he attacks um, also for two and draws a negative one, so hits for one damage. Okay, so you got eight damage. I'll just take it. Okay, and the round's over, right? And the round is over. So this guy in front of me has two hit points left, and this guy still has six, and this guy has eight. Yes, that is correct. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Mine okay. is eight, oh, four again, 18. Okay. Zero, four, 18. They drew a 70. The elite can only move one space this turn. <laughs> it won't even get to us. Oh, cool. Um, the other guys can move two and attack for three. The elite normally would attack for four, but can't get to us. Okay. So the attack went up, but the movement went down on the elite? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a flanking strike on this guy. And because he's adjacent to you, I get plus two attack. So it's five total. Okay. Five plus... Zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, so five on this guy. Cool. Um, and I get an XP for that. And then the other thing um, is attack three. So I would kill either of them, I think. Yeah, they're both they're both within that range. Yeah, I guess I'll attack the guy that's standing next to you. Okay. Um, so attack three. I mean, I, I could draw a critical failure, but I didn't. Oof. Okay, so this guy's gone. Goodbye, guy. You leave some money. Okay. okay your turn. That changes things a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move Yeah, all right, so I'm just going to move uh, two spaces to like right before the right in front of the bump out. And then I'm going to attack this guy for two and and try to poison him. Okay. This guy right here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, so I got a minus one, but that's okay because he's only got one hit point, right? No, he has no, two. He has two hit points. Okay, so he gets one more point off, but he gets poisoned. Yep. Poison. 
which actually I'm not sure if that's going to help us at all. Oh, no, because it, it doesn't remove until he gets healed. So yeah, that will help. Because now we get extra plus one damage towards him. So even if you get a critical failure, you can then still hit him for one. Because you can do it in any order. Right. Okay. So that's my turn. Okay, so then the elite moves one. <laughs> um, and the other guy attacks me for three. For three? Dang. Well, plus one for four. Damn. Um, so, uh, my friend Matt reminded me that, or reminded us, that we could discard a card to not take Is it discard damage. or is it lose? I wow. thought it was like, um, discard as in like, uh, I guess lose is the right term. Lose a card. Yeah, like permanently lose a card. I mean, is I can. Worth it? Probably not, because we probably, have all the healing things, right? Yeah, I can probably heal you on the next turn. Okay, I'll take it then. Okay, uh, next round. What's your hit? What are your hit points? I have three now. Okay. Okay, so this guy has one hit point, and he's poisoned. This guy still has eight, and he has a shield. Okay, stupid shields. I am ready whenever you are. Uh, I guess I'm ready too. I've got 33. I have 46. Okay. So we're hoping for 70 again. <laughs> 46. Uh-oh, they drew a 30. Oh, no. Um, the elite moves three and attacks for two, and the regular guy moves four and attacks for one. So the elite moves three, probably right here, to attack me. Yeah, and attacks me, draws a zero, so it does two damage to me. Ooh. Dang, yo. <laughs> this is going to be the shortest run ever. <laughs> I mean, technically, I can take it. I would have one hit point left. Um, but then the regular guy is also going to attack. But maybe he'll get minus one? Yeah, it's possible. So I'm going to take it. <laughs> I have one yeah, because I, I can heal. Oh, yeah, because I, yeah. I have heal all set up. I'm ready to go. I have a heal ready to go as well. Okay, so then this other guy attacks me, draws a... Negative one, does zero damage, yay. Yay. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> now it's my turn. Wait, so does this guy loot since he landed on this money? Does he loot? Yeah, do they loot? I feel like I read something about them looting, but then it goes away forever. What if we kill him first before the end of the round? Looting. They do not perform end of turn looting, but they. But if he has a loot action, then he can do it. Okay. So no end of turn looting, just if he has a loot action. Got it. Um, okay. Gee, I was going to try to poison him, but I guess I need to heal myself instead. So I'm going to heal myself for three. Cool. So now I have four. Okay. 
Um, my other movement, my other card is only a movement. Well, don't move further away from me. I'm going to move here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to play is this one, which adds two to my next four healing abil abilities. And then I'm going to heal you for two plus two is four. All right, I'm at maximum. So there you go. Hopefully that helps you feel better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. End of round. Okay, I'm ready. Wow, oh, these are terrible. <laughs> Great, I love to hear that. <laughs> Okay, uh, I am ready as well. Ooh, this is. All right, so my number is 17. Mine's 86. <laughs> <laughs> they drew a 55. Okay, so I'm going to use my eagle eye goggles. Uh huh. To do uh, the which gains me advantage because I'm going to attack the elite guy for two. So I'm going to draw the top two. Sadly, plus zero is the better of the two of them. Oh. Uh. Yeah. But I hit him for two and he still has a shield, so I hit him for one. Yeah. Wow. That was super boring. That's quite an elite there. Hmm? I said that's quite an elite. Yeah. Last time we defeated him super easily. I don't understand what's going on. Well, I blew two, like, special cards on him last time. Last oh, time. yeah. But then that's why I became exhausted midway through. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to move backwards by one. Because somebody has to stay alive to heal you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the elite moves one, but doesn't need to move. Attacks are three and has strength and self, which means uh, has an advantage, right? Draws two cards. That's terrible. Did you just die? No. I mean, I still have eight hit points. I can also use my leather armor and make it so that he doesn't have that advantage. That's not a terrible plan. Yeah, I think I will do that, actually. So he just draws one card like normal. OK. All right. He drew a negative one. So he does two damage to me. OK. And then the regular dude can move two and attack two. So he's going to go, I guess, here. 
Yeah. And he also has strength in, so he's drawing two cards. Well, maybe things will be okay. <laughs> His two cards were um, complete with or negative one. So he gets a negative one because that's the better of the two. <laughs> and he hits me for one. Okay. So that's I'm at five it. now. That, that, five. that turned out pretty good, actually, all in all. Okay, so you're down to five. I need to have like a second thingy here so that I can pay attention to your health as well. Mm. Just so that I know when I need to heal you. Yeah. Um, so now it's my turn, right? I'm gonna do these thingies. I'm gonna attack, I guess I might as well attack the little guy. Well, he's only got like one hit point, so. I know, but fine, I'll attack the big guy. I have a, th a three attack on him. I wasn't, I wasn't saying attack the big guy. I was just saying that like, he's easy to kill. Right, we probably want to get rid of him. We, we, we need to get rid of somebody. Okay, I'm gonna attack the little guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> attack three. Well, you get attack four because he's poisoned. Hmm? Attack four plus zero. Yeah. Okay. So, so he's, he's dead. He's, he's dead. Bye. Um, and then my other thing is going to be on your next four attacks, targeting enemies adjacent to none, uh, you get plus two to the attack. Okay. Single out. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Cool. Oh, and I have to do a short rest this turn. Are you out? Yeah. Maybe I should do a long rest next turn. No, we would need to get rid of this elite. Yeah, because if you do a long rest, well, actually, no, because he will try to come around and get me. That's what will happen if you do a long rest. Because long rest counts as 99 initiative, so he'll actually, like, actually, would he? Would he? No, he would attack me because I'm closer. Right. It's only if It's only if we were, like, equally, equally there. Oh, cool. I lost my just dis disarm card. Dang it. Well, I could take a hit point and, and not lose this card. That's true. But I think you lose a different card. I do lose a different card. I'm going to do that because we need to be able to disarm those traps later. I lose my trickster's reversal. Darn it. That's a good card. <laughs> Okay, next round. All right, now, this time I should be able to do a ton of damage to him, because I get plus two. Well, he's down to luxurious seven, so. I am ready whenever you are. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. I've got a 23. I have 37.
they have a 35. Okay, um, first I'm gonna attack it for three. Plus one, so that's four. Minus one because of a shield, plus three. He's got four hit points. And then I'll attack it. Oh, wait, but then plus two because he's uh, not adjacent to anyone. He's adjacent to you, though, right? Or is it just adjacent to allies? Adjacent. Next four attacks of targeting enemies adjacent to none of their allies. Ah, to none of their allies. Okay. So that's two more damage. So he has two dam uh, two hit points. And then I'm attacking him again. Um, oh, and that's XP. Uh, for three and then plus two again. Yeah. Plus one more. That's five minus one because of shield. He's dead. Sweet. Goodbye. Can multiple loot markers go into one space? Sure. Okay. Well, that's what happens then. Okay. So, um, first I am going to heal you for three. And then I'm going to move to where the two loot markers are and I'm going to loot the two. Like move three. Yeah. Move three and loot two. And now I'm done. Oh wait, I actually healed you for five. Never mind, I forgot. Because my next four heal actions. I have, so I'm at eight. Okay. Ooh, and I got an experience point for that. Woohoo. All right. And that's the end of the turn. Yeah. We made it through the first room. Yes. Wow, I cannot move very fast. Um can I leave the loot for you? If you want to leave the loot for me, go for it. Well, okay, so here's a question, right? Like, do we want to open the door this coming turn or do we want to wait one more turn? Um, we should probably wait one more turn. I'm not sure because I'm going to need to do a short rest at the end of this turn because these are my last two cards. Okay. So, um, or I could do a long rest on this turn and get my eagle eye goggles back. Yeah, I'm going to do a long rest this turn since there's no bad guys. Okay. Did that mess you up that I'm going to take a long rest? I don't think so. I mean, I want to take a long rest too to refresh my leather armor, but I don't need to do it now. So I think I'm going to do it like before we get into the bigger room, I guess, instead. And it's, so instead, I'll just like move forward or something. You know? Okay. Yeah. Can't do that one, can't do that one. Okay. 
I've got four. You've got 99. There are no enemies. I'll just go. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack no one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to move two. But uh, every okay. hex you enter, it gets looted. So I'm moving right there, and I get to loot this. That's so cool. Is it, a, is it when you have to discard or whatever? Nope. Or lose, I mean? Nope, it's one of my special X's. Sweet. Um, okay, so now it's the next turn. Well, I'm, I'm doing my long rest. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I got this one discard. Dang. That was a good card. I lost one of my Healy cards. Oh, well. All right, next. You're up there. Money. Okay. I am not ready. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm doing a 12. I have 20. Okay, so I go first. I am um, moving three. One, okay. two. Now one move left, but we have to populate the board now. Um, yep. Okay. What was here again? An archer. Yeah, we get one elite archer and then two bandit guys, bandit guards, and some traps. Elite archer. Trap. Uh, and two regular bandit dudes, right? Yeah, regular. Okay. So that's... Oh, man. I was at... 12? What was the... Um, the uh, initiative that you had? 20. Okay, so now we have two guards, which are five and three, and Archer, who's in number six. Oh, the guards are going to go before you. They drew a 15. Dang. Um, but uh, so I move two. I'm gonna move one back, <laughs> so Archer doesn't okay. shoot me. And then I'm turning myself <laughs> invisible. So I am now invisible. Okay. Great. <laughs> They can't reach you. It's the bandit's turn. <laughs> okay. Um, they don't move. They don't move? No. They got a shield one and a retaliate two. But they don't move, apparently. <laughs> huh. Can you see that? It's... I can't, it's blurry. Whatever. Yeah, it's okay. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so the bandits don't do anything. And then it's your turn, and then the archer goes after you. Okay. So, um, 
First, I am going to first I'm going to move move up to four. Let's see. Let's see. Dang. I don't really want it to be there, but okay. One, two, three. I'm in the doorway. You're in the doorway. And then I yep, and then I'm doing attack two with two targets. So I got a plus zero and a minus two. Okay, so whichever guy, which guy it goes, I guess it doesn't matter, I can decide. Um, so the guy on the left is gonna be the zero guy and the guy on the right yeah, is gonna be the minus two guy. Hmm? Wait, how much? Yeah, so I, two damage to the guy on the left. Does retaliate happen on range stuff? I think maybe not. Let me look. Page 26. An, an adjacent hex. Unless he's got a range on it. Does he have a range on it? No. Okay, then no, he can't retaliate at range. Did you figure, did you include that they have a shield of one this turn? I did not. So never mind, I only did one damage to him. Okay. I did zero damage to the other guy. Sad. Yeah. Now the archer, who is not moving. <laughs> Range of, what the hell? Range of five. I don't think the archer can hit you. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. She cannot That's hit That's lucky. Me. Next round. Oh, and I have to take a short rest here. Okay. Oh, so it's not next round yet. Yeah, it's almost next round. Are you still invisible or was that just for one turn? No, I'm still invisible. Okay. Until I attack, I boot. Yeah, until I attack. Okay. God damn it, this, the disarm one again. <laughs> Dang it. I have to take a hit point. Okay. Aw, I lost the one where I get to loot the hexes that I moved through. <laughs> I kind of feel like we should pull back and make the archer come towards us. Yeah, that's not a bad plan. But all my attacky things are, I have to get in, I have to get next to them. Well, what is your number? I haven't decided. Five. Like, I could run in there. I'm invisible right now, so they wouldn't attack me. So I could run in there. Mm -hmm. But then they're going to go after you, you know, which might be bad. I still have eight hit points, so... Do you know if, um, so on the invisible thing, it says on your next attack while invisible, double the value of the attack. If I were to do a attack that has multiple targets, 
does that double the value only happen on one of the targets or on both of the targets? That's a good question. <laughs> okay, let's see if it's in here. <laughs> I mean, I would think that you would do them in, like you would tack one then and then the other, so you would become an invisible partway through, unless it's something with two targets. It is something with two targets, throwing knives. Okay, well then both counts, because that's one, that's one attack. It's just affecting two of them. Right. If it was like attack one guy and then attack the other guy. But I do draw two cards. Right, but it's still just one attack. Okay, I'm going with it. House rules, we're sticking with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that means I need to. Does that mean you need to kick me out of the way? No, I just have to move in and hopefully the archer doesn't come and hit me. Uh, let's see, what's the range on this thing? Three. I think I have to go like right here or right here. Yeah, that's your best bet for not getting hit by the archer immediately afterwards. So I have to move two. Ah, uh, these suck. Okay. All right, I've chosen. I have a four. Okay, I have 18. Okay, they have, the guards have a 15, and the um, archer has a 29. Okay, well, at least I get to go before the archer. Yeah. The guards aren't going to move this turn. They um, are? Or not. Hmm. They have a shield up and they're, they do poison damage. Okay. First, I'm going to move two spaces. One, two, here. Okay. Then I'm going to do my throwing knives, which does um, attack of two, range three. They're all both within range. Okay, so the first guy, I draw plus zero, so that's attack of two, but it's double because I'm invisible. I'm gonna lose my invisibility. Um, so that's four damage on this guy. Okay. Oh, but they have a shield, so three damage. On that guy. One, two, three. So he's down to two. And then the second guy also draws zero. So there's also three damage to him. So that's three damage on him, yeah? Yeah, so there's this guy's at two and this guy's at three. Okay. Um, and I gain XP for that. Okay, and then it's their turn. Yep. But they don't move, right? So they don't do anything? I think that's correct, yeah. Okay. Oh, and uh, the, um, the moon is empowered now. Okay. The moon's that strong now. I don't have any abilities that use it, I don't think. So. Yeah, that's... I, oh, I do, I have one ability that uses it. Okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, shield us both, just in case the archer does something bad. So we each get one shield. Okay. Is there like a shield thing? No. Shield. So I'll put that here. So I know we both have shield. 
And then um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the guy on the left for two and poison him. And that also powers up the, the um, leaf earth power. Okay. So I got plus zero, so I attack him for two, but he's got a shield still, right? Or is it it's the shield just once per turn? The shield is during this turn, I believe. Right, but does your shield go away each turn? Or I'm confused about I think at the end of this round that shield will go away. I think the, the shield is uh currently in effect. Okay, nope. yeah, it's I thought I read something else. Okay, so he gets I mean, one more damage. Might check on that. I mean maybe it only came I, into I just, effect. I just checked it's it's I thought it was like maybe for just the first attack, but it's for all attacks. So he is does now. It, does the shield come into effect for the whole round? Like as soon as the card is revealed, or only when that unit gets activated? Because I went before him. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, I guess it it shouldn't have gone into effect until after that. So then he would have had, he would already have five. Well, it just, I guess it depends on like, so when the monster card is revealed, No, because if we had shield cards, it wouldn't activate until we played. That's until true. we got to put our shield up. So I think that that. So each of them is one more, has one more hit point on them. Okay, so then I just killed the guy on the, on the left because I just gave him one more and poisoned him, which makes no sense because he's dead now. Okay. We might be totally cheating. <laughs> I don't think we are, because if it was us with the card, yeah, then no, it would have been until we were, it was yeah until we played yeah. the card. I think that makes yeah. sense. We're just not letting the monsters cheat, right? Um, you're done now, right? I am done now. Yes. Okay, so then the archer goes. He's got a movement of two, mm -hmm. and a range of six. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to move forward one so that he can hit us. Uh, attack me, I assume, because I have lower initiative. Yeah. Um, attack of two and immobilize. That sucks. Dang. Two plus zero is two, but he immobilizes me. So you're down to five, yeah? I'm down, yes. Uh, okay. Immobilize, damn. Jeez. I can't do anything. Can you? Oh, yeah, because you're immobilized. So you've got to like come up with something else. I can heal you though. So I can heal myself. Okay. So do you not do. want me to try to heal you? I don't think you should try to heal me. Okay. Kill the other guy. So literally the only thing I can do this turn is heal myself. All right. Unless I do a long rest. You could do a long rest and that would heal you for two and get your cards back and refresh any spent items.
Now do a long rest later. Okay. I am picking these two cards. I'm picking those two cards. All right. I'm at 33. 19. 33, 19. Okay, you go first, then the guard, then me, then the archer. Okay. I'm going to use my eagle eye goggles to have advantage. And I'm going to attack the guard for two at a range of three and then pull him two. So let me pick two cards. Ooh, I got a minus one and a plus one. Does he have a shield this turn? No, he doesn't. Okay, so I do three damage to him. He's dead. He's dead. And I don't pull him anywhere. Um, because he's dead. I pull his corpse towards me and, <laughs> <laughs> and take his money. <laughs> it's a hook gun. What do you want? <laughs> Um, and so um. then, <laughs> um, uh, I was going to move two, I'm just going to move one and then move right back. I don't know. I don't have anything else to do on the other card. So I'm done. I killed the other guy. Okay. If you move out of Bell OS, then the archer is going to attack me instead of you. Would you, would you rather attack me or you? Um, I'm not sure you have, oh, you're about to heal yourself though, right? Yeah. Okay. So then never mind. I'm going to move back behind the wall. Okay. I'm sacrificing you for the greater good, Mark. That's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm healing myself for three. So I'm back up to eight. And then this card does nothing because it's a move card. Um, and then the archer doesn't move, but has a range of six, so I'm totally within range, and attacks me for four. Four minus two. All right. It only does two damage. Sweet. That wasn't bad. Okay. Next round. I only have one card, so I have to do a long rest, right? Yes. Yeah. Or should I have done a short rest at the end of the last round? You should have done a short rest at the end of the last round so that you are, don't have to just sit there for this round. Yeah. yeah. Although you would have healed and stuff. I don't know. If you do a long rest, you don't do anything this round. Yeah. Actually, are you still immobilized? Not anymore. It's just one round. Okay. Go away, immobilize. Um, because you'll get your last two hit points back. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a long rest then. Okay. And you're gonna run in there and attack him. <laughs> I am going to, okay, I know what I'm doing. I totally know what I'm doing. All right, so mine is a 16. Okay. You're doing a long rest, so you're a 99, and I'm a 16. Archer's also at 16, but you get to go first. Okay, sweet. All right, so first I'm gonna just move two back into the room, actually over here on the side. And then I'm going to summon a decoy. And the decoy has six health and two, um, two movement ability, but doesn't get to move this turn. And I'm gonna put the decoy in front of me to protect me. Awesome. 
and it's pervasive until it dies and I get some XP. Okay. Cool. The archer has a range of five, so it doesn't need to move. It only does an attack of two. And it's gonna go after the decoy. Okay. Yeah, it would go after the decoy. Okay, so it tries to attack the decoy at a plus two, so it does four damage on the decoy. Dang. I was saving that decoy. I was hoping the decoy would make it to into the next room. I'll um is it dead? Like, how many hit points did it have? It has six. Well, now it has two hit points. Okay. But better it than me. <laughs> You're keeping track of the decoy, right? Yes, I'm keeping track of the decoy. Okay. So now it's my turn. I'm doing a long rest. I get my leather armor back. One of these cards goes away, right? Yes. But I get to choose? Um, no, you. I think it's the same as usual as a short rest. You pick random. Really? I think so. Oh. I thought it was your choice on a long rest. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. I don't know. Can I heal my decoy? I don't know. Maybe? What type of decoy is it? What is it? It's a decoy. It's a harmless contraption. Resting. Long rest is declared. Choose to lose one of his or her discarded cards. You get to choose which card you lose. Oh. Keep that one. Keep that one. It does not say whether or not I can heal my summon. My summoned decoy. I don't have very many cards though. I only have four cards. <laughs> Dang, okay. I have a, I have a thing that could maybe help with that. Well, I have a stamina potion. So I sort of essentially have six cards. Or what does the stamina potion do? Uh, I get to recover two of my discarded cards. It's like oh, okay. Prevents, or it delays having to rest by one turn, basically. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready, and I'm going to declare that I can heal my decoy. Okay. Because it doesn't say specifically that I can't, so I'm going to do it. Okay. And then, and then somebody watching this is going to be like, "You fool! Why did you do that? That is clearly on page 73 of the rules." So sorry in advance, whoever that is. Okay, so my number is 37. So wait, hold on. Uh, my number is ten. Okay. Archer draws a thirty-one. Dang. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I can't really do anything to it. All right. So I'm moving two onto this loot, and then I'm disarming this trap here. Okay. Bye bye, trap. Yeah. And you're totally taking that loot because that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Uh oh. Your little, your miniature guy ate the loot. 
Um, the archer has a range of five, so it basically attacks me. Okay. Three damage. Draws a, is, ooh, draws a critical miss. Yay! Oh, now, okay. It's using the app, so it'll shuffle for itself. Yeah. All right, so my summons guy moves to, um, I guess he just goes forward. Okay. Because he doesn't have attack. There's zero attack. He's just like there to soak up damage. Soak up damage, yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to move. I'm going to move forward too onto that loot. And then I'm going to heal my guy for five or, you know, four because that's the, how much damage he has. So okay. he got healed for, he's now back up to six. Yay. Woo and now I have to do a short rest because that was all of my stuff. I'm going to discard my stamina potion and get these two cards okay. back. I lost my ink bomb. Oh well. All right, we gotta do some damage to. Have we done any damage to the archer? Um, he's at seven. No, we haven't. Dang. It's on now. <laughs> <laughs> totally on now. All right. I'll do that. I'm at 33. Oh, wait. I guess I should wait for you. I'm ready. 20. Okay, I'm at 33. What are you at? 20. 20. Archer's at 56. All right, go for us. Okay. So my guy goes like up uh, to right in the archer's face. So that go right in the archer's face because that's where I want to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. He goes next to the archer. And then I'm going to move up one. Mm, yes. Wait, no, I'm going to move. Yep, never mind. I'm just going to move forward one. And then I'm going to use a stun shot, which has a range of three, attack of one, and stun. Mm. And I'm going to, ooh, and I got a plus two on that. Does she have a shield? She doesn't have a shield. No shield. Woohoo! So I do three damage to her. Three. Three. And I stun her. So okay. she's now not able to take her turn. Yep. And I'm done. I did all the things I could do. Okay. Um, I am moving forward three. One, two, three. And poisoning it. Poisoning her. Poison. And then attacking for three plus one for, nope, not that one. Oh wait, does the decoy count as an ally? Um, I think so because I just healed it. So I just decided it was an ally. Okay, so then I attack for three and then plus one attack for each of your allies adjacent to the target. So that's four. And then because of this single out, I mean the um, special thingy here, next four attacks target blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Um, it's plus two, so that's six. Okay. Or a card I draw. Hopefully you don't whip it. Plus one. So okay. it's, dead. it's dead. 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 Money. All right. You. How many cards do you have? Right now, two. <laughs> okay. And you used your stamina potion already? Yeah. 
Okay. So this next turn, I'm basically gonna, I guess, um, disarm that trap or something like that, and then move, and then I'll take a rest. Okay, hold on. So then I'll have three cards. Shit, we need a. Damn it, this game is hard. <laughs> game is hard. Don't get too nervous about a rest. I might be on it. Okay, well, I'm at 10. I have 34. 34. Doesn't really matter, though. Well, it doesn't matter if we open the door. Oh, that's true. 34. Okay. Um, I'm going to disarm this thingy. Bye bye, trap. And then move two spaces, I guess. Um, Open the door. I don't. Do I want to? I mean, I would end my turn on the door, and then there'd be a bunch of guys who attack me. Yeah, I don't know if that's a great idea. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm going to end my turn on the loot. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I'm just that type of guy. <laughs> All right, uh, so is it my turn? Yep. Okay, so um, I'm going to... Oh shoot, you're not adjacent to me. So my guy's gonna go over here towards the door. And then... Don't forget to move your summon, dude. Yeah, the, my summon guy's gonna go over oh, by the door. That's what you mean by your, your guy. And then... Dang, I wasn't thinking. That was stupid. Because you need to be adjacent to me for me to do this. Oh. Whoops. Oh, whoops. Um, so I'm just going to like move over here next to you. And oops. Yeah. Where, where uh, next to me are you? Kind of like behind you, away from the door. Not, yeah, the, but the one closer. Dang it. Oh, well. Sorry. I tried, but I failed miserably. <laughs> you know what? I'm doing a short rest just so I can get that stupid card back. I have to do a short rest or a long rest next turn. I might as well do a short rest. Okay. Phew. All right. All right, I lost the stupid disarm one now. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, now we don't care anymore. I only have two rounds in me. So we have okay. to kill the next few guys in two rounds. That sounds impossible. Or no. You have to kill the rest of the guys for the rest of the scenario. Like I have two rounds in me to help you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this again, aren't we? Dang. You have so many cards, though. Just don't stand in the doorway this time. Like, hold back so that they come at you one at a time. Well, now I'm behind my guy, so that should help. <laughs> hold on. This is... This top and bottom thing is what's messing me up. Right. Um... You, want, you probably want me to, I'll, I'll let you go first. Yes, I, we're not supposed to say that, but I need you to let me go first. <laughs> I would like to go very early this turn if I could, Mark. Okay, I think I can arrange that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm at 93. Okay, I'm at 16. <laughs> All right, so, um, actually, th does that even help? Because you just took a rest. Do you have any cards in your discard? What? Do you have disc cards in your discard? No. 
we got to start this round over again because we're not communicating well, Mark. <laughs> I took the short rest. I know you took the short rest. Okay, never mind. I want to go after you go, but I need you to stay close. <laughs> <laughs> um okay that's doable i mean the same cards then so like i uh instead i have a 10 instead of 93. okay yeah okay see basically my cards are the same too yeah how close do you mean by close <laughs> hold on what did i do can I you just play open line. doors Huh? Can your decoy open doors? I don't think so, no. Mm. Yeah. He's just ready to like get sent in. All right. I guess I'm ready. Still 16. Okay. I'm moving. I have a 10. I'm moving three. One, two, three into the doorway. Okay. I hope that isn't too far away from you. Um. Dang it. Uh, these guys appear. Tables. We've got two skeletons. Are we going to be doing this again? I hope not. I'm tired of this scenario. <laughs> Where Mark and Melissa give up because... <laughs> Shortest Gloomhaven campaign ever. Maybe we can play it on the lower difficulty level. Yeah, we might have to. If we don't make it through this time, we're going to have to do lower difficulty level. Although I still, we're both at full health, right? Yeah. Okay. It's just a uh, card management is what I'm having problems with. Okay. So then my other thing is I'm attacking them. Okay. Uh, attacking both of these guys. Oh wait, they have to now draw yeah, cards. I have cards now. Two bandit archers, two and four. And then two skeletons, two and six. Okay. Darn it. <laughs> I'm going to get hit by four guys. Oh, no. Well, no, your summon dude can go through me. Mm -hmm. They'll target the summon, summon guy. Okay, are they going before me or after me? They're going after you. The archers have 44 and the um, skeletons have 81. Okay. But anyways, I'm attacking uh, these two skeleton dudes. Um, They have five hit points each. Okay. And they have shields. Yeah, and they get to target two people at a time. Jesus. But they don't have a range, so they have to be next to both of those people. Right. Okay. Um, so this guy on the left, drawing a card, minus one, so that's one damage with the shield, that's zero damage. Bad. Right? Yeah. Yep. And then the guy on the right. Unless you have that, don't you still have the extra? Oh, it's only if I'm adjacent to them. Oh. Boo. Uh, and then I drew another negative one, so I do zero damage to both of those guys. Okay. So now it's my turn and my decoy guy is going to come out and stand in front of you. I'm assuming I don't get experience because both of my attacks lift. Yeah, I don't think you do. Uh, 
And okay, where is he going? In front of uh, you. He just went like uh, the other side of you, the right of you instead of the left. Okay. And then I am sadly still not able to play this card, so I move to. And you're at full health, right? Yes. All right, so then I do nothing else because I can't attack or anything. You move adjacent to me? Yeah, but like, yeah, right behind you. Okay. The archers have a range of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So they're within range of the summoned guy. Um, they do attack three. So this guy shoots the summon guy for four damage. Okay. The other guy shoots the summon guy for four damage. Okay, so my summon guy is dead. Okay. Bye bye summon guy. Bye summon guy. The skeletons don't have movement, so they can't attack. So they can't do anything. Correct. Next round. Next round. And I have to do a. I have to do another um, short rest. Okay. I'm going to do a short rest too. This will be my last round, by the way. I lose this card. All right, trying this again. All right. I'm at 33. I am at 34. Skeletons are at 25. Dang. They move four, but have attack zero. <laughs> so this so, guy goes one, two, and attacks me for zero times two is still zero. Okay. And this guy goes one, two, and attacks me plus one. So it does one point. Okay. So now you're stuck. Yep. And then, so it's my turn. Uh, I'm going to attack one of them for three. Yeah, just three. OK. Uh, I guess I'll go after this guy on the left here. And I whiff. Dang. Uh, and then I will. Can skeletons get poisoned? Yeah, why not? Okay, I'm going to poison the guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then run away. Wait. Here. Thank you. I was about to yell at you. <laughs> Okay, uh, which guy did you poison? This guy on the left. I need to turn my thingy so I can see which one is which. Okay. So you're now over here. All right. I've been trying to play this card for so long. One adjacent ally may recover all of their ca discarded cards. So right. Get one more turn. <laughs> one more turn. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and, and then um, I can attack two at a range of three and target both of them. So I'm attacking both of them for two. Okay. And I got, uh, ooh. Okay, so I got this 2x with the little rotation thing. So I think that I get to just keep pulling. No, I thought that rotation thing was. Oh, that's, I have to, I have to. Shuffle. Shuffle. Am I supposed to shuffle now or after I've pulled oh, this? at the end of the turn. At the end of the okay, round. so I got one two time and one negative one. Okay. So they have shield. So I'm going to go, so I'm going to the living bones, uh, the guy on the left that's poisoned, I'm going to do the two times for him because I get attack three on him. 
So that's six damage, so he's dead. Because minus one shield, he's gone. Goodbye, dude. And he leaves some money. And then the other guy gets minus one. And I do zero damage to him because he has a shield. And now I have to shuffle my cards. Okay. So now it's the archer's turn. Yeah. The archers have a range of five, but they don't move. Do they see you? I think they do, right? I think that the but guy- you're not in range. You're not I'm in not range. range. Okay, phew. Yay. They don't attack you either. Oh, dude, I totally have been forgetting about our element things over here because I never need to use them. Yeah, well, the app, I mean, if we remember when they get activated, then I mark it on the app and then the app remembers to lower it every round. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, okay. All right. I'm ready so at 33. Oh, you could do that. You could continuously heal me. If I end no, up that, you. that I had to I had to lose it. Oh darn. <laughs> yeah, sad. Okay. I've got what I'm gonna do. You can do this. <laughs> okay, eighteen. Eighteen? Yeah, eighteen. Okay. <laughs> um, you first, then me, then the archers, then the uh, skeleton. Okay. I don't know if you can do this, but if you can attack the archers, I can probably kill the skeleton. Okay. And... Otherwise, I'm just going to run in the room and then collapse. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be good, though. I'll be your decoy for a turn. I can run into the room and they'll shoot at me. And then I'll be exhausted next turn. So may, that might be good. I don't know. It's up to you. That is not actually the worst plan in the world. <laughs> OK. I. What's the skeleton in? He's poisoned, yeah? He is poisoned, yeah. Oh, no, wait, no. No, he isn't. The other guy was poisoned. Unless yes, you poisoned him. No, I didn't poison him. Okay. I'm also trying not to run out because I'm now getting critically low. So this is the other problem. If you can run into the room and attack the archers, I think that would be good. I think I can kill the skeleton. Okay. And I can still, I can also act as a decoy. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, if I get, if I get closer to the archers than you are, then um, they'll attack me. Okay. But I can't move. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm having range problems. Okay, so yeah, I'm having range problems. Okay, well, then if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack the skeleton for five. He's at a range of two. Oh, no, you said you could deal with the skeleton, right? Probably, but... I My mean, issue is I can't get in range of the archers. Right. 
then I don't know. It doesn't matter. Go and get the loot. <laughs> no, okay. I gotta stay. I gotta stay right where I am. Um, all right, I'm gonna attack him for two at a range of three and try to poison him. So I get. Oh, I whiffed. Great, but he's still poisoned. Totally. So you don't do any damage. I don't do any damage, but I poison him. Okay. And then I'm going to move to and take the loot and probably die really soon. Oh, actually, that was really bad advice I gave you. Because now you're closer to the archers than I am. All right, I won't take the loot. No, we're not supposed to do that. <laughs> that is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but you only did it because I gave you bad advice to begin with. <laughs> yeah, but still. <laughs> Let me take the loot and then exhaust. But it's too late now. I made okay. my move. Okay. Um, so I move two and also poison him. That doesn't do anything. And then I um, attack him. Okay. Oh, actually, he's good next, next to him. So I attack him for three, four, five, six. Um, and plus one for poison, uh, right? Yeah, and I forgot to shuffle these, so I have to shuffle these first. still has five, huh? Yeah, he still has five, but you get one extra for poison and then all of that other stuff. Da -da, plus zero. Okay. So he, uh, it was six and then he has a shield, so he's still dead. Still dead. Yay. And then the archers go. And they kill me. Um, they have a range of four, one, two, three, four, and movement of one. Both of them attack you with three, on top of three. So this guy attacks you at plus zero, so he hits you for three. Okay. The other guy attacks you at plus one, hits you for four. So I'm down to one. You could discard a card. I could discard a card. Yeah, I'm gonna discard a card. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm at five. All right, I have to do a short rest anyway because I am about to be exhausted. Mm -hmm. And I am exhausted. Things are about to go horribly wrong, Mark. Dang it, I wanted that one. Okay. So I'm, I'm now down. Okay. How many cards do you have? Three. Oh shit, so you have two rounds left. Yep. Um, how many hit points do these guys have? Five. You want to just kill them. Mm -hmm. You don't actually have to loot the treasure chest. That is true, but we can't ever get that. So we miss out on this treasure. Yeah. What is the treasure? I don't know. We're not supposed to look unless we actually loot it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we will never have it then. If you don't do this, then <laughs> the next time we play will have to be easier. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I'm going to switch characters to somebody who has more cards or something. 
All right. Here we mm. Here we go. Nineteen. Okay, you've got 19. Uh, the two archers have 56. Okay. So I am going to move one up in between the tables and then I have a net shooter oh wait nope I didn't do that I can't do that all right so I move up and then I have an attack two range three two targets so I'm going to try to attack both of them and I get plus zero and minus one so the one on the left gets two. I don't even know what number that is. And the other one gets one. One. We're so about to lose this. Their attack is only one this turn. Okay. So the guy on the left attacks you for zero. Okay. And the right attacks you for zero. Okay, phew. All right, and a short rest because Morty Lords. Okay, so 18. And. <laughs> oh, they have, they drew a 14. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, create a three damage trap in an adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy. They both create a trap. Okay. Traps, traps. There's one, there's another. Um, move one, attack one, range four. So they just attack for one again. So. Okay. The first guy attacks for zero, uh, one point. Okay. Second guy attacks for three points. Uh, okay, I'm down to one hit point. Okay, what's your turn? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm down to my last two cards, so this is, this is make or this break is right now. This is the extent of it. Okay. Can you take out two guys <laughs> in your last turn? We're going to try. Okay, so my first one is the net shooter, which is an attack three range three and it'll mobilize them hopefully um okay so the first guy gets plus one and the second guy gets plus one <laughs> so i think i just killed both of them what? i think i just killed killed both of them yeah so they each get a plus one so three plus one is four um four this guy got, is down to five because he was down to four, and then three plus one is four. Yeah, I killed them both. That's amazing. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. That is crazy. But look at all that loot but, to get. But yeah, I can't. Oh, I can move two. So I'm just going to move on to this guy because I didn't take my second turn and I get one more loot. But we did not get the chest or any of the rest of that loot. Oh my god, but you actually did it. <laughs> I was like, oh no, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Phew. That, is that was insane. like that was the adrenaline right there. Wow. Yeah. I was... Did you do your thing? Do your special thing? Um, hold on. I think I did. I did. Mine is just open a door. <laughs> 
Yeah, I did because I didn't have to do my, so my thing was gain seven or fewer experience points. And if I had had to do both attacks, I wasn't going to get it, but I didn't have to do both attacks. I got them all on one attack, so I get it. Woohoo! Nice. And so one, two, I don't actually get a perk though for it. And then I've got five coins, which we determined was two, two gold for each coin, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. so that's 10, 18. And then I got another seven XP, so that's 14 XP. Still nowhere near level two, but still doing okay. Ta-da! We beat a scenario, Mark. That's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, we get to read things now. Okay. With the last bandit dead, you take a moment to catch your breath and steel yourself against the visions of living remains ripping at your flesh. Your target is not among the dead, and you shudder to think what horrors still await you in the catacombs below. So we've unlocked a new location, the barrel lair. And we have a new achievement, First Steps. Nice. Ooh, I get to put stickers. Now the exciting part, where I get to use stickers. Wait, is it a global achievement? It's a party achievement, it says. Oh. So it's not a, not as many stickers. So sad. Okay, but I get to put the bear layer on. I'm kind of sad though that we didn't get to loot. Even though we just barely managed to make it through the thing anyway. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, we forgot to do a road event. <laughs> we keep forgetting to do that. Do we get, does our reputation go up or anything like that? Uh, I, did it say that we get a reputation point in know. the book? Let me look. New no, location I don't think so. No. No reputation points. Oh well. Yeah. Anyway, that was cool. Finally successful, but I am afraid because that was really hard and we're only on number two. So thanks everyone for joining us for our sudden and felt like not inevitable win. <laughs> Um, we just got one perk, right? Uh, no, we get two, we get, um, towards, towards a perk, but we don't actually get a perk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get a, we got, we got what, however many check marks were on the card. Mm -hmm. I got some gold, you got some gold. Mm -hmm. Gold was had. XP. And all of these go back. So I'm using the other app, Gloomhaven Campaign, something or another. This is my homemade, not very good organizers. In case you were wondering. Huh. 
How many bandits do you think I killed that time? Or how many units did we kill? You killed the last two guys. We killed the last two guys and a couple of the guys. Before that. Yeah. I keep forgetting to count. Yeah. Um, Whatever. Okay. I am unsure. Unfortunately, I now have to go because I got to take the puppy to the vet. Okay. Feel free to edit that out. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for this, and I'll see you some other time. Mm -hmm. And next time, we'll try scenario two, and hopefully it will take us two tries. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. Bye. My mouse cursor is gone. <laughs>